Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to see one of the SQL injection on a Dutch government website which has a responsible disclosure policy. All right, so first let's see the target and this is a live target which is albertroscam.nl which is a Netherlands based web application. All right, so into this web application, let's go to one of the functionality to retrieve a parameter or a ID. Before that, let's quickly start our Bob suit as well, because we are going to use it maybe to spider the application and to identify more endpoints through the application. So remember guys, always spidering your application gives you more increased scope of assets that can be URLs, that can be parameters, which helps you definitely in identification of more and more injection points and identification of vulnerabilities. So as you can see, I have got this endpoint, which is a get request, and I have added this to my scope, as you can see over here. Now, I will just wait for burp for identification of more and more URLs. As I'm on to the Burp Suite Community Edition, this is the latest edition of 2020 and there is a restriction of a lot of features, but still this version runs a passive crawler which will crawl the URLs for me automatically and which will be visible to you over here, as you can see. Now I will just simply double click params because I want to see the parameter based assets or URLs and I'm going to try on one of the URL. So let's say we pick up this, which is get slash detail dot PHP question mark ID equals to 10. Perfect. So let's say for instance, make it to 20 and we are able to get a response. Now let's click on render and let's see what do we get over here. And you can see there is a page which gets rendered with the image on ID equals to 20. Let's identify if this is vulnerable and let's give a single quote and hit send. Now let's wait for the response and I can see it is still loading. Let's give one more error and you could see we got an error actually. Okay, so if you missed it, let's do it again and let's wait for the error to pop up and we will confirm that there is a vulnerability of SQL injection. Perfect. As you can see, we have got an error which says my SQLI number rows expects parameter one to be my SQLI result boolean given. All right, so we have an error which means we have identified our injection point and this target is vulnerable to SQL injection. Perfect. Now let's copy the URL of this target and fire up SQL map, which is going to help us in automating the exploitation for this web application. So let me just quickly go into the folder of SQL map and start Python SQL map.py hyphen U stands for the target URL, which you need to give it give in double quotes. And I'm going to add the custom injection point over ID equals to with the help of star and write hyphen hyphen batch hyphen hyphen banner, which means I want to run all the task or request or take the decisions by SQL map and banner means that I want to do banner grabbing and identify the web technology and the database version. You just need to hit enter and it will start the scanning and exploitation onto that specific target. It will do some of the test to identify and do banner grab onto that specific target and will let us know. And let's see what is the output of this. So let's wait and see if we get something. And you can see we have already got a message over here which says URI parameter one is my SQL greater than equals to 5.0 or error based, which means there is an error based vulnerability. And we know that we gave a single quote at ID equals to 20 and we got an error. And this is actually the same thing that SQL map is telling us. Perfect. So I will just skip this a little bit. So let's go 
to where it identifies something sensitive from the server and you can see it is identified that target URL appears to have 17 columns into the query. All right, let's wait for this and yeah, it has successfully completed. And you can see the web server operating system is Linux. The web application technology is Nginx or Plesk. And you can see the backend DBMS is MySQL greater than equals to 5.0. Perfect. So we have identified a lot of information about ta the target from here. And now it's time to exploit it and get more sensitive information, which is the database names. So here we have one of the payload, which is Boolean based blind. And you can see over here. So I'm just going to copy this into my browser and see what do we get. And here you can see, let's understand the payload quickly, wherein you can see that it is and, and a true condition, which is 6219 equals to 6219. And when I load this, you can see the application is behaving properly. But when I make this condition as false, the application does not give anything. As you can see, there is a change in the behavior. When I again make it to the equals, which is same, it again loads the application. So yeah, we can see that the payload is working over there. Similarly, we have more other queries. Now, we are going to exploit the database. That is, we want to know the names of the database. And for that, we know that we need to type hyphen hyphen DBS. So I will just type that and hit enter. And you can see we have identified in total of two databases are there. The first one is Alberto and the second one is information schema. So I'm much more interested in the first database. So I'm going to write hyphen capital D and the name of the database and we want all the tables from it. Now, as you can see, it have started fetching the tables for the database Albatro and you can see it has retrieved the first one, which is image description, link table, project backup, new sites, projects, projects backup old side, projects modified from old site and text, etc. Now we have the database as well as we have the name of the tables. So let's do one thing and let's go into one of the table. So let's say the interesting one, which looks like is projects and see what are the columns into this table, which is projects. So, for that, you need to type hyphen T, the table name, and hyphen hyphen columns, and just hit enter. Let's wait for this to complete, and here we will get the results in which SQL map will identify the number of columns into the target. And uh, you can see it has started fetching the columns for projects, and you can see it is ID, title, is project, publish, description, ordering. Perfect. So we have also identified the columns now. And you can see it is still retrieving more and more. Now, while I was reporting this target to the organization or to the Dutch government, I did not try to dump the data. So in this proof of concept, I'm not going to dump any data from the target web application. And I'm just going to send the screenshot of the database names and the table names, which is more than sufficient for the target organization to prove the vulnerability exists into their web application. Remember, I have already expressed that you should not dump any sensitive data or information from the target web application. Identification of database names or table names is more than enough to prove this vulnerability. So I hope you guys understood how you can do this. Thank you.